Hi, I'm Vicki Ruffing. I'm the nurse manager of the Johns Hopkins Arthritis Center. And I'm Dr. Rebecca Mano, assistant professor of medicine in the Division of Rheumatology and faculty member in the Johns Hopkins Arthritis Center. Today we're talking about osteoarthritis. And this is a common question I've gotten from many people. Immunosuppressants, which are those kinds of medications that suppress the immune system, are they ever used for osteoarthritis or the wear and tear type of arthritis? So generally, Vicki, no, they're not. We use medications um, like methotrexate and prednisone and biologic therapy for diseases that are caused by the immune system or a disruption in the immune system, which is what rheumatoid arthritis is. But for osteoarthritis, our target is somewhat different. The pathology and the, uh, is located really just in the joint. And so, unfortunately, our treatments are really focused on symptom relief um, instead of modulating the immune system. So, in other words, the, the systemic nature of rheumato rheumatoid arthritis requires a medication that's going to go through the whole system to attack the disease, whereas the treatments for osteoarthritis are going to specifically try to treat what's happening just in the joint. That's right, Vicki, exactly, okay. so exactly. So what may some of those uh, medications be then? So I usually think about the management of osteoarthritis in four broad categories. There are oral agents which, which we can use to treat osteoarthritis. There are topical therapies which can be applied directly to the outside of the joint. There are intra-articular therapies which can actually be injected into the joint. And then finally, there are surgical options that exist as well. Okay, so let's just take, for example, the knee. Mm -hmm. What would be some of the oral agents that you might see commonly used for uh, osteoarthritis of the knee? Absolutely, knee osteoarthritis is very common. Um, and as we all get older, we're at increased risk for developing osteoarthritis, particularly of the knee. So some of the oral agents that your doctor might recommend are in the family of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. These are medications like ibuprofen, um, which, which can be prescribed over the counter or they may be prescribed specifically by your doctor. These are medications that do decrease inflammation but work in a, a very particular way. Other oral medications which can be used for osteoarthritis include acetaminophen and sometimes even uh, pain medications such as narcotics if the other classes of drugs can't be used to manage the symptoms of osteoarthritis. All of these medications, because they are oral and systemically absorbed, can potentially have side effects. And so which medication is right for you is a decision that should be arrived at between the patient and their doctor based on other medical problems and other medications that are being taken at the time. Good advice. Um, how about the topical medications? So there are some topical medications that are prescription um, that can be uh, prescribed by your doctor and there are some that are over the counter as well. If you go into any pharmacy, you'll see a large uh, variety of topical modalities, but they all generally have a similar theme. Most of the over-the-counter topical therapies have a component of menthol in them, which helps soothe the, soothe the joint and can be applied directly to the joint. Caspasin is also a compound, which is the active uh, ingredient in chili peppers, which has been used for a very long time to treat uh, osteoarthritis with some effect, and this is a topical application as well. There is an FDA-approved topical non-steroidal drug called diclofenac gel that can be prescribed by your doctor um, to help with the symptoms of osteoarthritis as well. Once again, this is a gel that can be applied directly to the joint up to four times a day. Uh, this is specifically, this is best used for patients who can't tolerate the oral medications either because of interactions with other drugs or um, other medical problems. Okay. Um, you had mentioned intra-articular therapies, um, putting the, d the drug right into the joint itself. So back to imagining our knee, we're talking about injecting, putting a needle into the joint? That's right, Vicki. That's, that's exactly what I'm, what I'm referring to. There are two possible injections that we use in the management of osteoarthritis. The first is corticosteroids. Now you're probably saying, but I thought steroids were used in the treatment of, of rheumatoid arthritis and for systemic inflammation. 
But these are steroids that would be going directly to the joint itself. And the mechanism of action is a little bit different for osteoarthritis. But this still can be a, a great way to help calm down um, a knee from osteoarthritis that is really causing a lot of symptoms to the patient. Unfortunately, it is a short-term solution, and it doesn't do anything to change the course of the disease. But you're right, this is intra-articular, meaning that the doctor will put a needle into the joint space itself and inject the steroids directly into the joint. And that helps prevent the systemic side effects from oral steroids and systemic steroids. There is another option in terms of intra-articular therapy as well. And these are um, viscous supplements that can be actually injected directly into the joint itself. These help replace some of the proteins that we think are broken down in the joint uh, with osteoarthritis. These are generally very safe and well tolerated. There's multiple formulations that are on the market and they primarily differ by the uh, number of injections and the frequency of dosing. So whichever one that your, works right for you should be a discussion with your doctor. There's really very few side effects um, and patients tolerate them quite well as, a, as an option. Okay. So I guess our, our last uh, treatment, if you will, would be surgery. That's right. That's right. So, <clears throat> so unfortunately, since we don't have a cure for osteoarthritis, um, surgery always is an option. Okay. So thank you very much. Thank you.